Hey guys, welcome back to Set Streets and Eats. I'm Chris Bauer. I am in Muncie, Indiana today in front of a 1950s era speedy McDonald's sign. How cool is that? Look at that. Licensee of the speedy services. This is a very early sign. This sign is actually on the National Register of Historical Places, so it's actually one of the 11 or 12 original, original early signs. Um, still lights up, still amazing. It's a really cool sign. Uh, I wish it wasn't in front of the worst looking McDonald's ever, you know, as they all tend to be now. But uh, it is so cool to look at. I think you got speedy, you got all those lights. I'll put a shot of it from at night. It's magnificent. But just the listing, the speedy service system, which of course is how the McDonald brothers opened the first McDonald's. They invented this, the speedy system. And then the speedy mascot was just the manifestation, character manifestation of that system, um, which they used until the Ronald McDonald era of the early 60s. But uh, this sign is definitely one of the coolest of the old McDonald's signs that are still out there today, for sure. But this is not why I am in Muncie, Indiana today. I'm actually in Muncie, Indiana to see the Chuck E. Cheese. Here, in front of the Chuck E. Cheese's in Muncie, Indiana. Of course, they have the late 90s signage still, which is awesome. Um, I love that. So it's got the out the outside a little bit older, so I'm hopeful that maybe we'll get to see some older artwork, but we will see. So let's get in there and check it out. So behind me is the Studio C Kappa stage here in Muncie, Indiana. Uh, of course, the Kappa stages were always put into smaller market stores, which Muncie does definitely fit that uh, description. So uh, it makes sense that it's here. Um, uh, so far, just walking through the store, small store, but looks to be in uh, really good shape. It looks like it has a few interesting points we're gonna get to. But as far as Chuck goes, he's in amazing shape. Unfortunately, he is a statue. Um, I do like that they have the Studio C carpet here. I dig that, but he's in his rock star outfit. Stagnant as can be, unfortunately, no life. But uh, the rest of the stage, no lights, but still here and uh, looking good. As good as it can with no lights, but as of uh, May 2024, I believe there's only 13 or 14 Kappa stages left. I could be wrong on that exact number, but um, there's still, you know, enough of them. Uh, but it's coming down to the wire. They're getting fewer and fewer, but we're gonna go check out the art and the video games. So around the showroom, of course, we've got the kids playing with Chuck over on this side as well. And of course, we also have King of Cool and Ambassador of Fun. And then we go around the old booths into the kitty section. We got Circus Toss. 
I haven't seen that in a little while. Then air hockey, which they have the old air hockey table, y'all. I haven't seen one of those since uh, Roseville, California. This is an old one, 1996. You just don't see these very often. It's got all the old artwork on it. Munch playing hockey. Chuck's coaching, obvi. Then we've got Hungry Frog. Sketchbook's out of order. A couple of assorted other rides, the Mr. Machine, other things. And we're, of course, we're gonna high five Chuck. Facing the kitty section, we have all three of the giant Warhols. And in an odd placement, right next to air hockey, we actually have the watercolor from Hello 2005, which usually you see that out in the vestibule, but it's cool that it's here. <laughs> They've still got the old beverage signs up here and above the drinks, and then we're into the arcade. We got Halo. Got cruising, Jelly Lab. Just get NBA hoops. Can't forget we've got Pop It for Gold. So I've got all the old signage on it. Terminator, Pink Panther, Ski Ball Alley Rollers. Oh, and then we do have Super Spin. I always like seeing those too. Those are always pretty cool. Then we got Paw Patrol, Wheel of Fortune, Operation, all the regular games, and of course, Birthday Party too. We got all the good ones. Now this, I don't think I've seen a lot of. Hmm, Crazy Typhoon. Pretty cool looking game. I don't believe I have seen that in very many places or at all. Comment below if you know where else that is. This might be the first time I'm seeing that one. Of course, over in the store, we've got the old sign for gifts and prizes up above. Then a smaller assortment of toys than normal, but it's a smaller store, smaller cap estate. So they've got the beach balls out for summer and they got the drawstring backpacks. The little plushies, lots of the toys, and other redemption prizes. And right in between the kitty arcade and the big arcade, we do have three of the semi-large tokens. Those are usually over the alley roller, but they're over the booths in here. All right, guys, I'm gonna get on the road, Chuck. It was good seeing you. I wish you weren't a statue, but what are you gonna do? Just a little old capital stage. Not much reason for him to be moving around, but. He's in great shape though. Whenever they do tear this out, I hope someone's waiting with open arms at the dumpster. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you at the next one. Bye now. By the front counter, we have the old school Chuck E. Cheese mission statement up here as well. And then right out here in the vestibule, we got Chuck's old sassy headshot. And check this out, guys. This is not a gold token. This is more of a yellow token, even though it is kind of gold. It's definitely not the traditional gold. It's been painted. So it's been repainted. It must have been really worn out, I'm going to guess. So. But that's not going to stop us. We're going to rub it for good luck. Later, Chuck.